Today we're going to build a deck of cards in Component Studio. Uh, specifically, we're going to build the roles from The Captain is Dead. First, we need to create a project. So I'll go over here to Projects and create The Captain is Dead. And I'll mark that one as our active project. Then, we'll go over here and upload some fonts. First, we need Promethean Bold. That font is sans serif and bold. Now we need France. That font is serifed and normal. And we can see those two fonts have been added to our palette. Now we need some images. We'll select all of our different uh, crewmen. And also an overlay. And we'll also need some icons. Now we'll need to create a data set. Now let's import our data set from a file. All right, now we're ready to get on to our design. Let's do it. Let's start by adding a predefined back. So I'll go over to back, we'll click add image, and then I'm going to grab one from Dropbox. Copy Dropbox link, and I'll paste it uh, right into there. So now our back is done. Let's focus on the faces. We'll start by adding a portrait. We'll go to Add Image, and we'll use an image variable, Portrait. Paste that right in there. So now you can see we've got our portrait. Let's name it. And now we're ready to move on. Let's add the overlay. We'll select an image. There's our overlay image, and that looks good. Let's just name it and minimize. We're going to put the title up here, but we need a background color first. So let's start by adding a circle and let's change its color to color. Let's change the radius to 1300 pixels. That looks like it's covering the whole thing, but it's only because we haven't moved it into position yet. Our position should be something like that. See, we're only using the bottom part of the circle. Let's add the title. We need to set a few of the elements in here to get it to position correctly. So uh, we'll need the font to be set correctly. And we want the color to come through from this variable. So we'll just go ahead and paste that in there. The font size should be 65 and centered. And that looks pretty good. Minimize. Now let's put the rank in there. I'll add some text, go down here, grab the rank. And this should be white and 80 pixels. 
we need to position it right about there. Now let's add the rank label. Again, we want this to be white. Right about there. Font's a little too big though, so let's go with this. Now I'm not liking where uh, the actual rank is positioned, so I'm going to go back up and modify that a little bit. Let's try a position of 200 instead. That's looking a little better. All right, I think the rank label is done. Now let's put in the hand size label. Now let's add the hand size. That looks pretty good. Now let's display an image grid. We'll use this for our action count. All characters have at least four actions. We need to position this better. And we'll want a little padding between these icons. Eh, we'll need a little bit more space for it. Some roles have more than four actions. So let's get this. Let's put a little if condition in here. So now roles that have four actions will look like this. But if we go to someone like the cyborg, who has five actions, it shows like that. Now we need to add the skill discount label. And we really only want to display the discount label if there are actually discounts. So let's go down to conditionally render and put in discount one. That way, if there is a discount, it will display. But like here on the uh, cyborg, there is no discount, so that won't display. So let's go back to the admiral who has a discount. Now let's add in another image grid. And this one will be for skill discounts. And we're going to use variables for this one. Characters can have up to three skill discounts. Again, I think we're going to want three padding. 
and let's try positioning it around here. Now all that's left to do is add a description. Font is a little too large. Let's enable a shadow. Now we need to position this. Let's do... Our text isn't quite fitting the area here. So let's see where our text area is defined by drawing an outline. Ah, it's a little too big. So we need to resize our text area to be a little smaller. In this case, see how that is. That looks pretty good. Now, our text isn't all there though, so let's enable fit text to box. Now that shrinks the text down until it fits the box. Now we can turn off our outline and hide the advanced tab. Now if we pan through these, we should see that we have a good number of roles and that they're all laid out exactly how we like. I like that a lot. At this point, we're ready to export. So we go back to designs and we click this and we can export. Let's do a print and play. Here's our print and play. with the backs. It looks nice. Thanks for watching this video.